What's up guys, it's Osiris and welcome to a brand new video in this Osin Audio series. Today we'll look into dynamic processing and we'll be taking a look at the dynamic processors in Osin Audio. So we'll be looking at compression, expansion, um, limiting and noise gate. So yeah, let's get right into this. So the basic idea behind compression is trying to match quieter sounds with loud sound so a compressor will take a loud sound like in a drum for example let's play this drum the kick and the snare is louder than the hats a compressor will take the peaks of the kick and the snare and bring it down to the level of the high hats so that's the idea behind compression and yeah let's see how this works i'll create a new track here and Let's record. Yeah, let's go. So this is a new recording and I'm going to be loud at this point and I'm going to talk really quiet at this point. And we're going to compress this recording so everything is going to match up. Let's stop this. So I have this recording here. Let's listen to it. This is a new recording and I'm going to be loud at this point and I'm going to talk really quiet at this point. And we're going to compress this recording. We have some quiet points like this area and we want this loud points to come down to match up with these quiet points. We'll use the meter here to check the peak of the quiet points. Uh, let's see. I'm going to talk really quiet at this point and we're going to compress this I'm going to talk really quiet at this point. The quiet point peaks at around minus 27 dB. So let's pull up our compressor in Ocean Audio. Then let me reset this to the default settings. And let's bring out the waveform preview. We'll set the threshold to the peak of the quiet point that was around minus 27 dB. Minus 26 is fine too. And the ratio is just how much you want to bring the loud peaks down to match up with the quiet peaks. So let's set this to around um, two. Let's listen to this. This is a new recording and I'm going to be loud at this point and I'm going to talk really quiet at this point. And we're going to compress this recording. So everything, let's apply this. And you can see how the loud points just come down so if i undo and redo you can see the difference the loud points comes down and the quiet points stays quiet so everything seems loud then after that you can just bring the whole recording up so that's the basic idea behind compression let's listen to this this is a new recording and i'm going to be loud at this point and i'm going to talk really quiet at this point and we're going to compress this recording so everything is going to match up a compressor also comes with other options like attack release no but this gives you more control over the compression like the attack makes the compression happen really fast we're not going to get into that but i hope you've just gotten the basic idea behind compression so let's look at this with the drums Let's look at limiting. So a limiter is the same thing as a compressor, but it doesn't have the ratio option. So what the ratio does is set the amount, um, set how much you want to compress the high peaks, the louder peaks. But a limiter doesn't have that option. It doesn't give you that option to set how much you want to compress the high peaks. So that's the basic idea behind the limiter. So let's bring this threshold to, um, let's, apply this so it's a very hard compressor that's the basic idea behind a limiter let's look at the expander an expander is like the opposite of a compressor so what this does is um, it makes the quiet parts quieter and the loud parts louder i've tried the expander in Austin Audio and it doesn't seem to work well. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong, but that's the idea behind 
and expand that. Let's look into noise gate. So noise gate is just anything below a particular threshold. And we said threshold is just a peak of something. So usually it's the peak of a quiet part in an audio recording. So anything below a threshold will be cut off. So if we want to cut off the hats in these drums now, we are just going to set the threshold of the noise gate to the peaks of the high hats. So let's check the peaks. So that the peak is around minus between minus 30 to minus 27. So, so anything below minus 27 will be treated as noise and it's going to be cut off. Let's set this to minus 27. Then if we preview this, we shouldn't hear the high hats at all. Just hearing a tick. So we are cutting everything below minus 22 dB. Let's apply this. It's a very dirty noise gate. It doesn't do it clean, but yeah, it does the job. And I hope you get the idea. You can use external plugins to do all of this. We are not going to look into this. I just wanted to show you the options you have by default with dynamic processing in Ocean Audio. That will be all for this video. I hope you've learned something from this. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions about this, leave them in the comments below. Yeah, guys, that'll be all for today. I hope you're all having a great day. Until next time, guys. Peace.